Hello and welcome. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find a journal or a book to play with. I have this really fabulous one. I love the pages inside. So I'm going to pick a page that I want to play on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some protective paper down underneath. Then I'm going to put a layer of gesso. You could also use watered down white paint if you don't have gesso. This just kind of puts, pushes everything back and gives a nice surface for you to adhere things to. Like glue and paint. While the pages dry, going to set that aside. I'm going to look through a magazine and pick out a few magazine pages. What I'm looking for here is a face that I can modify and make my own. And maybe one other big image for the for the page plus some maybe some text to use. Some other words. I don't know. I'm just grabbing stuff. I'm going to cut out the words. Remember the things on the side, it's drying, plenty of time. I'm going to cut out my images. This is also where I make kind of like the final choices, what I'm actually going to end up using. As always, I get more images than I need. I'm going to make sure my pages are dry. I'm using a heat tool, but you can also use a hair dryer on low. And I'm going to select some tissue paper. Now this isn't absolutely necessary. You could put down some thin layers of paint, maybe scraping it on with some uh, a credit card. Um, I'm using gel medium here, by the way, to adhere the tissue. And when you do this, you want to put the gel medium underneath as well as on top. You also want to, uh, if you have some heavy gel medium, you also want to thin it down. You don't want to use something that's really heavy. So if your stuff is heavy, thin it down. If it's nice and thin, you're good to go. And don't brush too heavily on top or you will tear the tear the tissue. I tend to do that at least every time I do this. And give it a quick dry. Next I'm kind of auditioning my images, seeing what I might want to do. In this case I picked this one and I'm going to tear it up into pieces and do kind of like a little mosaic thing on my page. And I have my face here and I'm just going to tear away all the edges. Using a face that's already been designed kind of gives you something to, to go with. Now you're going to glue them down. You can use your medium or you can use regular glue. Doesn't matter. Don't use glue sticks though. No, definitely don't use glue sticks. <laughs> now here you can see I'm putting the, the medium, the glue on the back side of the images and, and pasting them down. But what I found it was a little challenging and sometimes it's easier if you take the glue and put it on the page first and then stick the image down on top of it. Which you can see here, that's what I'm doing. Oh, so much faster. <laughs> You'll also notice that I am um, putting the glue on top of the image as well. This helps to seal everything in. Okay, now it's time to dry. It's a lot of drying time. It's good to have a little fan on hand. Now I'm probably going to like go do some dishes or something. <laughs> when I came back, it was nice to dry so I could take my scissors to it and trim the edges. And here's where I'm at. This is a really good start. Now I'm going to take some paint to it. I'm using um, fluid acrylics here, but you can use any acrylic paint that you want. If you use heavy body paints, those are the paints that are really heavy. Um, 
thin it down with just some water. And I'm using um, paints in a way that will kind of help blend those images in. And now I'm working on the face area and I'm putting down some white paint. What I want to do is kind of cover up the original uh, image that I got out of the magazine because I'm going to be redrawing it and making it my own. Now I'm just going to start adding a little bit of color to the face. You want to start off here really easy, really gentle, very thin layers. Water it down with a medium or water. Next I'm going to give my give the face a little bit of shape just to get it started. And now I'm using a Stabilo All pencil, but you could also use a water soluble pencil. Your surface doesn't have to be completely dry for these pencils to work. You can add back in some of the features to the face, making it my own face. Now I'm working on the hair. Now this, these pencils um, that I'm using are, um, they're water soluble. So what you want to do is you want to seal in that pencil and you can do that by adding medium on top of it, or I'm just going straight for the paint. And if you add acrylic paint on top of it, it's going to seal in that pencil. When you get to going, when you get to doing the face, you'll probably want to add a clear medium on top of it and be careful not to brush it on too much. You might even consider spraying it to not mess up, you know, because that uh, Stabilo All or a water soluble pencil is going to smear. So you want to be kind of careful with that. Um, it might be a good idea to test it on the side first before you get in there and start doing stuff. Now here, um, you see, I'm adding some white paint in the background, and what this is helping to do, I'm not completely covering the background, but it's gonna bring that face forward. Otherwise, everything all blends in. This is adding some contrast, which is really important to bring out the images that you want. Now, take a step back, see what you like. And if you don't like it, it's okay. Just keep adding layers. <laughs> Just keep covering it up and adding layers until you get something that feels right. And don't forget to have fun. This is all about you exploring your creativity and enjoying this time. This is some powerful stuff. Creativity is amazing. Creativity changes everything. See you next time. Bye-bye.